Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna take a step back from the norm of doing a makeup tutorial or talking about mental health or singing or whatever. Um, instead, I'm gonna cook you one of my all-time favorite meals. Um, this meal was something that, like, it was literally my childhood favorite meal. Um, my mom used to make it when we would have leftover chicken and it's literally so fucking tasty. It's so good. It's really easy to make. Even if you don't have leftover chicken, like let's say, you, like, you know, obviously we were a family, so we would have like whole chickens. And, you know, it's great if you have leftover chicken, use it. If you don't have leftover chicken, I'll tell you right now, you can still make this dish and it's super easy. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Like literally this is my favorite dish growing up. Um, anytime my mom told us that like this is what we were gonna have for dinner, I got so excited because it's so good. Um, so yeah, so I am gonna be making for you guys a dish uh, called Chicken Devon. It's super easy to make, super tasty, and if even if you're like a single person like me, like it gives you leftovers, which is fantastic because who doesn't love leftovers? So, yeah. So we're just gonna jump right in. All right, you guys. So for this delicious meal, you will need curry powder, black pepper, two cans of cream of mushroom, mayonnaise, lemon juice, broccoli, chicken, shredded chicken, shredded cheese, butter, milk, and breadcrumbs. So, and also a pan. Um, this again is a really easy recipe. Um, if you don't love it, I'll be honest, you're kind of weird, but you know, to each their own. Anyway, so first we are going to start by preheating the oven to 350. While the oven is preheating, you are going to butter the pan up. So you're going to butter the entire bottom of the pan and the sides, and then, um, you are gonna arrange the broccoli on the bottom. So, it, the recipe calls for two heads of broccoli. Um, I decided to go ahead and use the frozen broccoli I have, so I'm gonna start with one package and then just kind of fill in the gaps with the second package. So, after that, then we are going to mix our soup mixture. So I just spread my butter like so. Alright, so after buttering the pan, I now have spread the two bags of frozen broccoli to cover the base of the pan. And now it's time to make the soup mixture. Alrighty, so for the soup mixture, we are going to be, and it's a, I say soup mixture, it's not really like a soup, it's just like a gravy, I guess you could say. Anyway, um, we're going to add two cans of the cream of mushroom, half a tablespoon of mayo, a third cup of milk, one teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of curry powder. All right, so after making the like soup gravy mixture or whatever, now you are going to take your chicken and just spread it over. Now, okay, so it's just gonna happen like that. Um, so I didn't have any leftover chicken so what I did is I uh, boiled some chicken. I just had like skinless, boneless thighs and boiled them with like salt and pepper or whatever. So yeah, so you're just gonna lay it over there and then now you are going to take your mixture to pour it over that. I know it seems like kind of gross or whatever, or weird, but I promise you it will taste delicious. So yeah, just pour it all over. Just like that. And so now that your uh, gravy soup mixture is on top of the chicken and broccoli, you're now gonna go in with some shredded cheese, sharp cheddar. I like sharp cheddar if you want to go like medium or whatever your preference is. 
Um, it says about one to two cups, but I pretty much just like, I would say just cover it with however cheesy you want it. And so now that you have your cheese on there, go ahead and take your half a cup of breadcrumbs and spread evenly on top. Just like this. So now after you have topped it with the breadcrumbs, go ahead and put it in your oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And then while that is baking, go ahead and cook your rice. All right, and there we have it, plated and ready to eat. So this might look interesting to some, but this is a really good meal.